ground spot. I reckon she'd like it here. Sophie, dickhead, or he stinks. <sighs> you heard about what happened to Greg the other day? Uh, what? Last night, some guy kicked his tent in while she was sleeping. Really? Mm. Poor guy. Man. Or is it always having to us? Alex, you know you can't be here. We've got people need to get to work and I can't have them walking past you. All right, you can have a couple more hours, but no longer than that. Do you understand me? Make yourself comfortable on the sofa. Can I get you a drink? Uh, water, please. Sure. There you go. And just while I set up, keep yourself comfy. You warm enough? Yes, thank you. Yeah. Right, so what I had imagined. So if you could have this, your left arm on that, yeah, on that arm there, and your right arm behind your head, quite a steep angle, and then your legs down this end with a slight bend in the knee. Perfect.
Amazing, isn't it? Really reminds me of Tracy. Yeah, definitely. Great space for it too. Yeah. Really complements its figure and tone. But I don't know. I feel like it's nothing I haven't seen before. How come? Like, I get it's an unconventional take on the odalisk, but in terms of its relevance today as a found object, I'm, I'm just not struck by it. But I mean, I think we've moved beyond that, you know? It's about the flow of the object, the flow of humanity. Right, right. How the piece can exist independently of the artist. Mm. Do you not just feel disconnected by it? Like, if we're supposed to objectify the work so heavily, then why should anyone care about it? Why should I display it in my gallery? Because you are connected to it. Everybody is. Who's interacted with it? What places has it seen? What stories can it tell? I mean, it's got the evidence to prove it. <laughs> right, right. You're oddly passionate about this one. Do you know her or something? Not even. It just resonates with me. You know, I really think you'd be at a loss if you weren't to show it in Madrid. Yeah? Yeah. It's, it's new, it's exciting. I mean, we give birth on them, we play on them, and we die on them. I think it's great. Mm. I'll have a think. I was sitting and drinking in an old friend's apartment on the west side of Nashville one night. And in this apartment, he had these three sofas. He had two too many, all right. I said, buddy, tell me about these three sofas and start with that black one there first. He said, there's a story.